NEW AT 6 O'CLOCK, AN I TEAM UPDATE. A JAIL IN SOUTH LOUISIANA THAT COST MORE THAN $100 MILLION TO BUILD STILL SITS STAGNANT. AT THE FINAL COUNCIL MEETING IN 2014 IN Plaquemines PARISH, THE COUNCIL DID NOT ADDRESS WHAT'S BECOMING A FINANCIAL FIASCO FOR ELECTED LEADERS. INVESTIGATIVE REPORTER TRAVERS MACKLE LIVE NOW AT 6 WITH MORE ON WHY THIS FACILITY IS NOT GOING TO OPEN THIS YEAR. Travis. SCOTT, THE REASON IS MONEY AND A LACK OF INMATES. THE JAIL WAS BUILT WITH THE HOPES OF HOUSING BOTH STATE AND FEDERAL PRISONERS AND THAT HASN'T HAPPENED. SO FOR THE BULK OF THIS YEAR, THE JAIL HAS JUST SAT AND IT LOOKS LIKE THAT'S GOING TO CONTINUE. On this quiet highway on the east bank of Plaquemines Parish, one of the largest facilities to lock up people in Louisiana sits empty. No one is inside. At a nearby restaurant and store, the lack of activity at the jail hasn't gone unnoticed. I mean, we have no economy. You know, you don't see people breaking this door down, coming in here and buying nothing, you know. Byron and Kaladi is a Plaquemines Parish businessman and heads up the Louisiana Oystermen's Association. He drives past the jail every day. There's two sides to the story. You open it and lose money, or, or do you leave it sit there and hope and, and, and not? You know, so it's an issue about budgeting. As the I team first reported last April, the jail was built with FEMA funds, more than $100 million in federal money, and was the brainchild of former Sheriff Jeff Hingle, who's now in jail. The state has said none of its inmates will be housed at the facility, and the feds have made no commitments either. The state is trying to move away from housing their inmates in parish prisons, and the feds say they have concerns that the facility is outside the federal levy protection system. The new jail in Plaquemines Parish has almost 900 beds. So, outgoing Councilman Berghardt Turner says the parish has two options. Open the jail and start losing hundreds of thousands of dollars each month or let it sit empty. They will. They will have to address it. I think they want to address it. There are big changes coming to the Plaquemines Parish Council and a new parish president was elected, meaning they'll be the ones that have to deal with this jail when it opens and the possible financial headache that it poses. But I do believe that they have to sit down and look at where we are with the prison. What's the hold up? What will it take to move into it and, and move the ball forward? Because right now, down here, nothing is happening. We have to make sure it's efficient. Parish council will be sworn in in January, as will the new parish president, Amos Cormier. Camille? All right, Travers. And Plaquemines has about 70 prisoners, and right now they're housed at Orleans Parish Prison, which Plaquemines pays a daily fee.